Patton Oswalt decided to spend his new year and the following days uh, stabbing his friend of many decades, Dave Chappelle, in the back because Dave Chappelle did him a favor and then Patton Oswalt got pushback from the liberal mob. And so Patton Oswalt decided to try to throw his friend, his much more talented and famous friend over the, over the side of the boat. This was what started it all off was one Instagram post from Patton Oswalt. This was uh, New, New Year's Day, I think, or you know, I think it was New Year's Day. It was finished my set at Mac Cahal and got a text from Dave Chappelle. Come over to the arena. He's performing a next door and do a guest set. Why not? I waved goodbye to this hell year with a genius I started comedy with 34 years ago. He works in arena like he's talking to one person and charming their skin off. Anyway, I ended the year with a real friend and a deep laugh. Can't ask for much more. And there's that picture of Dave Chappelle and Pat Oswalt. That's really nice. That's really nice. You know, a nice grateful post from Pat Oswalt and, I, and Dave Chappelle did his friend a favor. And isn't that, that's a lovely way to spend the new year. Ex- mm, except here's the problem. Dave Chappelle sort of, kind of, like once or twice contradicted the leftist orthodoxy. And Pat Oswalt is a leftist coward. Two issues here. He's a leftist. So he does push left-wing ideas. And he's a coward before the mob. And so right away, he publishes this essay <laughs> on Instagram of him really thoughtfully sitting at a pen and paper, writing his public apology to the mob says, I saw a friend I hadn't seen in a long time this New Year's Eve. We've known each other since we're teens. He's a fellow comedian, the funniest I've ever met. I wanted to post a pic and an Instagram story about it, so I did. That friend is Dave Chappelle. 34 years we've been friends. He's refocused and refined ideas. A lot of us took as settled about his race and history and life on planet Earth and spun them around with a phrase or punchline. We've done bad and good gigs, open mics and TV tapings, but we also 100% disagree about transgender rights and representation. So there it is. There it is, right? He's He's justifying seeing a friend of 34 years. He's saying, look, if we'd only been friends for 10 years, maybe I wouldn't have said hello. But come on, it's 34 years. I had to. I had to go over. I don't even, I don't even really like the guy. And he's, he's a good comedian, right? He's funny. And, oh, but I had to. And, and, but I'm sorry. But we disagree. And he's a bigot. And he's a transphobe. And he's a bad person. And I'm a good person. We 100% disagree about transgender rights and representation. I support trans people's rights, anyone's rights, to live safely in the world as their fullest selves. For all the things he's helped me evolve on, I'll always disagree with where he stands now on transgender issues. But I also don't believe a seeker like him is done evolving, learning. So it's, hey, look, my friend Dave, who I have to be nice to because we've been friends for 34 years, he's evil. He's evil. He's totally evil. I'm a good person. Uh, But look, he's not 100% evil. He's still got a little glimmer of pot potential goodness in him. So I'm like, I basically, I'm just trying to help him be a good person. And you should really, you should be grateful to me because I'm trying to help this evil man reform. Blah, blah, blah. He goes on. He, he, he just goes on and babbles a little bit more. This is really pathetic and, and, and mean and cruel and rude and all these awful things to do to your, and disloyal and all these, a t- really a terrible way to treat your friend. It's also dishonest because Patton Oswalt has for a long time made jokes about transvestitism and sexually confused people. For instance. You said this is for like families and kids? Because this sounds really grim and creepy. Well, you didn't let me finish because we're also going to have men in bright clothing and makeup. Up, oh, time out. You mean like like transvestites, right? Well, technically, yes, but they're going to keep going so that they're clowns. You realize a clown is just a transvestite that doesn't stop. Like, if you, like, if you, if you saw a guy in lipstick and eyeshadow, you'd be like, Timmy, leave him alone. That's his own thing. The guy's like, oh, no, hang on. Like, oh, Timmy, get a, he's a wonderful clown. Get over there. I didn't know you'd use a whole tube of lipstick on one cheek. Please entertain my child. Run at him out of the darkness. He'll love it. So the premise of the joke, it's a funny enough joke. The premise of the joke is that transgender people 
are really just confused. And the thing that makes them transgender is that they put on a lot of makeup. So if they put on a lot of makeup, but stop at a certain point, then they're called transvestites or transgender. But if they keep going, the logical conclusion of that will be that they're a clown. Furthermore, the other premise of this joke is that if you see a transvestite, it would be natural to try to keep your kid away from that transvestite because the transvestite is obviously a little bit confused on some pretty important matters. And so you just say, hey, Johnny, don't, maybe don't go over there. Leave that person alone. Don't talk to that person. All right. But Dave Chappelle's a terrible person because he said that men are not women. This is, this is something about these people, the Patton Oswalt's of the world, the Liz Cheney's of the world, and the people who take their side that is, it, it, it's the insult to the injury. The disloyalty would be bad enough. The cowardice would be bad enough. The ignorance and naivete that if you just grovel to the mob, they won't attack you anymore, which just never actually happens. If you just apologize for something that you haven't done wrong, then maybe the mob will, will move on. But it's also the dishonesty. They don't believe this stuff. Patton Oswalt and Dave Chappelle, I seriously doubt, disagree on the transgender stuff. What, what, Patton Oswalt just said about transgenderism is way more offensive than anything Dave Chappelle has said. It's just, it's just the cowardice. (laughs) It's just the going along to get along. Hold up. Did you like that clip? Don't be honest. Don't just flatter me. I hope you did. If you did ring that bell, subscribe, you'll get the notifications. If you really want to get the notifications, head on over to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, wherever you get your audio podcasts, subscribe there. Maybe leave a five-star review. I don't know. We'll see you next time.